Hey, good morning guys. Um, I wanted to jump on really quick and make a video for you before I started my day and show you how to set up your palette because I know a lot of you have either gotten your items from the party that I hosted, the demo class I hosted, or Catherine's demo class, or Amy's customers are shipping right now. So thank you to Catherine and Amy for being my first two demo class hosts. I'm looking for more demo class hosts, so let me know if you want to do that. Just comment in this post. But I wanted to jump on really quick and show you how to set up your palette because I know for me that was something that was difficult for me to do when I first got it. I wasn't sure. I couldn't remember the order that things went in from when I had ordered. So I thought I would jump on, show you how to do this, and then get my day started. So this is the mini double decker. Most of you got the mini double decker because you got 10 colors. So I want to show you how to set that up. First, you've noticed all of your colors come in these adorable little tins. They slide right out, so do not throw these lids away. These lids are great. They're super helpful for, I use them all the time to t take out my tins. Um, you could do different things, like put paper clips in them, whatever you wanna do, but don't throw these away. Also, um, what I've noticed real recently is I'm changing out my colors a lot, and so I might put a color in my palette and then a week later be like, I don't really wanna use that color anymore, but I don't have anywhere to put it because I don't have the lid. So save the lid so if you decide to switch out colors, like right now is fall and some people are shading up and I wanna take out a lighter color, I wanna still have my lid so I could close it and put it in my drawer and keep it so it's not open in my drawer. So hold on to your lid, that's a lid tip for you. Okay, so here's your palette. Your palette is, when you get it, it's completely empty and all you do is you take out, they're magnetic, you take out your color that you got and you pop them in and so the way that you want to set up your palette is from left to right and so the first color you want to put in your palette is your all over color so when you ordered from me I sent you a little chart that had um, highlight contour illuminator or lip and cheek illuminator and then some eyeshadows and so you want to put your colors in order of how you're gonna wear them um, so most people if you're new and don't know which way you want to put your color on first because I prefer to put contour on first. I just tell everybody to default to the basic, which is your all over color. So your all over main color goes here, which is the first color that I listed in your little color matching picture. So your first main highlight goes here, your brightening highlight goes next, and then your contour goes last. So those are your three foundation colors to create the 3D foundation. And then your lip and cheek goes right next to it. And then if you had an illuminator, you could pop it in the bottom right here. And these are your four colors. This one's kind of dirty, you need to clean it up. And then on the back side, you wanna put your eyeshadows. And I suggest you put your eyeshadows in the order that I listed them on your color match palette because I put them in order of how you wanna put them on. So your first color is your lighter color, which is your all over color or your top of your lid color. Your second color is your crease color. So that's the color that goes right inside the crease of your eye. The third color is your shimmer fun color that goes on your lid. And then your last color is your corner eye color that just adds a little bit of pop and can be used as eyeliner. So you wanna put them in that order and I'll do a, a post just on eyes um, coming up this coming week. I've got some new things planned for my VIP page so I can't wait for you to see that. And then lastly, if you got any of our vanilla dust powder, you could put that here. I like to keep the vanilla dust powder separate from my creams because the creams um, are creamy and then they can mix in with the powder, and so I like to keep them separate. So that's how you set up your palette. Lastly, I just want to remind you, if you didn't get a Perfector sponge and you need one, the link to my shopping page for September is in this post. But you can also buy these at Target or wherever you want. But this one is truly an amazing one. I've used Perfector sponges for probably five or six years now, and this one is super high quality. And so I use it a lot for my stay spray. So if you didn't get stay spray to keep your makeup on during the day or use as a primer, you need to order this and you can order this. And if you didn't get your brush cleaner, once you start using those brushes, you're gonna wanna clean it. So who do you need brush cleaner, which we might be out of right now. So if we are, let me know and I'll put you on the list for when it comes back. But you wanna make sure you're gonna be able to clean your brushes at least once a week or every other week, depending on how often you're using your makeup. So super quick, jumped on, want you guys to have a great day. Now you know how to set up your palette. And tomorrow morning, Saturday, I'll be going live and showing you how to do a basic hack and get all this makeup on. Have a blessed day, everybody.